the value of a call, the formula is given, is equal to, is equal to the standard deviation n d1 minus strike price e negative r t t n d2 this is d2 that is the value of the formula for value of a call using the black scores formula so first of all we are going to calculate d1 and we know the formula for d1 is equal to the natural log of s t s t over exercise price plus the risk free rate risk free rate plus the variance the variance this variance it, you divide it by two then we multiply this by t multiply by t divide by the standard deviation times the square root of time time the square root of time so candidates st is the underlying asset price x is the exercise uh, price or the strike price rf is the risk free rate this is a variance t is the time this is standard deviation and that is square root of time so let's substitute the values the values we're going to have the natural log of 58 over 52 the asset price and exercise price plus the risk free rate is from the question risk free rate is uh, six percent yes six percent converted into decimal 0 0.06 then we add the variance is 15 percent converted into decimal 0 0.15 this is the, the 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 variance we divide the variance by two divide this variance by two This variance we divide by 2. The bracket is here. Then we multiply by time. The time here is uh, 6 months. 6 months over 12 is equal to 1 and a, one a half, which is equal to 0 0.5. So the time is 0 0.5. So we're going to divide that by the standard deviation. And we know standard deviation is equal to the square root of the variance. Square root of the variance, our variance here is 0 0.15. Then the square root of time times square root of time, 0 0.5 times 0 0.5. So this will be equal to. We go to the calculator. The natural log is in the calculator so you punch natural log open a bracket 58 divide by 52 close the bracket this is equal to 0 0.1092 
plus we remove this bracket that is a uh, 0.15 divided by 2 plus 0 0.06 times 0.5. This is a 0 0.0675 divide the square root square root of 1.5 times the square root of 0 0.5, 0 0.38, plus square root of 0 0.5, square root 0 0.5, 0 0.7, 0 0.7, 1. This should be equal to... Uh, so let's add point one zero nine two plus point zero six seven five divide open bracket point three eight seven three times this should be times application sign times Point seven zero seven one getting here zero point six five that is D one then D two the formula for D two is D one minus the standard deviation times the square root of time and we have the d1 there so d1 0 0.65 0 0.65 minus the standard deviation i said is the square root of the variance 0 0.15 the variance 0 0.15 0 0.15 the variance times the square root of time 0 0.5 0 0.5 so d1 therefore will be equal to will be equal to 0 0.65 minus 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 point minus point one five times point five this is equal to zero point three eight or let me call it 37 0 0.37 this is d2 d2 all right d2 let me take it again to be sure here i have a uh, square root of 0.15 This is 0 0.387 times the square root of 0 0.5, 0 0.707. So this subtract from 0 0.65. Point six five minus point three eight seven times point seven zero seven 
is equal to 0 0.7, 0 0.37, correct, 0 0.37. Now, we've done D1 and D2. D1 and D2. The next step is to move to the distribution table, the normal distribution table, and put down the values for 0 0.65, 0 0.65, 0 0.65, 0 0.65, this value here. So we are calculating D1, N, D1, normal distribution, and D1 uh, candidates, given that this is a one-tailed standard normal distribution, and it is on the right-hand side. The tail is on the right-hand side. Therefore, our figure here will be 0 0.5 plus, 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 uh, this is 0 point, we are getting 3, 0 point D137, 0 point 37, this is uh, 0, I'm reading from the tables, 0 0.1443, 0 0.1443, then ND2, same thing, 0 0.5 plus 0 0.37, this is 0 0.37, 0 0.37, 0 0.37 is 0 0.1443, and 0 0.65, 0 0.65, 0 0.65 should be 0 0.2422, this should be 2422, D1, 24. 22. D1, 24, 22. D1 is 0 point. D1, 0 0.65. 0 0.65. D1, 0 0.65, uh, 24, 22. Correct. Then D2, 0 0.37, 0 0.37, 14, 43. That's correct. So our values will be 0.5 plus 0 0.2422, 0 0.722. Then the 2, 0.5 plus 0 0.1443 is equal to 0 0.6443. Now, these are the values. We're going to substitute the values into the main formula. The main formula, we have uh, the, the ND1. Our ND1 is 0 0.74, 0 0.7422. So here we substitute the values in the main formula. This is uh, the underlying asset uh, price we know is 58 underlying asset price 58 d1 we have it there times 0 0.7422 minus the x the, the strike price the strike price is 52 shillings 52 shillings we multiply by the D2, okay? D2, we multiply here 0 0.6443, right? 443 raised to the uh, risk-free rate, 0. Point. And candidates, here you need to be very careful because we have the E, which is a 
base of the natural log, the base of the natural log E raised to 0 0.06 times times t 0 0.5 0 0.5 so we've done the substitution 58 is the uh, underlying asset price this is uh, the d1 okay after reading it and adjusting the normal distribution 0 0.7422 minus the strike price also known as the exercise price we multiply by the d2 this is d2 which we calculated here d2 then this is the base of the natural log raised to the is the base of the natural log raised to negative this is negative r the risk free rate times time t 0 0.5 so we come and insert the answers there 58 times 0 0.7422 43.05 minus minus 52 I come here type 52 times 52 times 0 0.644 6443 then I press shift natural log then I insert bracket after this E make sure you have a bracket this power have it in bracket minus minus negative that is minus 0 0.06 0 0.06 times 0 0.5 times 0 0.5 close the bracket so this gives me 32.5 and therefore the difference will be the value of this asset 43.05 minus 32.5 so this the value here is 10.55 10.55 shillings that is the value of the call the question is uh, the question is using black calls option pricing model estimate the value of the call option so the value of the call option is 10 shillings and 55 cents so that is how to calculate the value of call option the first thing to do is to put down the formula there are times the examiner will provide the formula as was the case here so this is the formula there are two things this minus that then within this formula these inputs must be calculated so we need to have a workings these are workings these were my workings working one working two working three working four these are the variables that are needed in the calculation of the uh, value of call option how many marks six marks one two three four five six six marks 